So we've been diagnosing this chainsaw. It has really good compression, good spark. It has a good carburetor. It's actually brand new. And all the fuel lines are in pretty good shape. So we're trying to diagnose what the problem is. And now we're just looking for leaks because we have good compression, good spark, and good fuel. That's all it really needs. So why wasn't it working? Well, right here, we're looking in here. There's a gasket there, and under here, there's bolts, and if we take a screwdriver, put them on there, look at that. See how these bolts just turn? These are like barely in there. They're, they're, they're so loose, and whenever I turn them, you can even see that start to pull back in. So my guess is that's not airtight and there's unmetered air flowing all around in there. So it's important that we tighten these up. So while we have everything apart, it's a good idea to take a look at the piston. And this is just one off of an old lawnmower. Actually, this is not from a lawnmower. This is from like a weed whacker or a chainsaw. But what we're looking for is scores in the piston or just nicks going all the way down. Something that would cause it to leak. So what we're doing is we're just looking through the exhaust here and that looks like it's in pretty good shape here with a light, we can look at it. It doesn't look like there's any major scoring on the piston and then we can look at it if you want from up on the spark plug hole. That's a little harder to see but you can see the top of the piston is in pretty good shape. So it looks like the piston's in good shape. And now from the intake, we can go ahead and take a look at the piston here. And it sure looks like that's in good shape. I don't see any major scoring. So that looks good. This one's a little harder to be able to see into the cylinder. But what you're looking for is scoring on the wall of the cylinder. And that would cause us not to have compression. It's very hard to see through the small hole. If you had a small endoscope, you could use that. But we have good compression, and it doesn't look like, from what I can see, that we have any scores in the wall of the cylinder. So since the cylinder and the crankcase was leaking right here, then we can go ahead and tighten these up. And, I mean, that that's loose. That's You can't have that. It's a lot of unmetered air getting in there, and that would probably cause it to not start. So it's supposed to be 14.7 air to one part fuel, and if that mixture isn't perfect, it won't ignite. So having that unmetered air getting in there will cause it to not start. So the cylinder sucks from the carburetor a 14.7 to one fuel ratio. And if that's not exact, like if there's unmetered air flowing in through here, it won't be combusting, and that's why our engine probably isn't starting. So we're just gonna go ahead, and with a eight millimeter, we can go ahead and tighten up these bolts and make sure that there's not gonna be any air flowing through here. So there's a lot of places where unmetered air can come from. Of course, the first is right here from the crankcase, and then it can leak right here from where the carburetor connects to the cylinder or the joint here where the rod is connected to like the flywheel, uh, that seal can go bad and then that can let unmetered air in. So this is where a vacuum test can come in handy to find those leaks. All right, we can go ahead and put the carburetor back on and just make sure your gasket's in good shape while you got a good look at it because that could let unmetered air in. So now we'll put on the fuel line that's from the fuel tank on. Now we can connect the throttle on and just kind of slide everything back on. And just sometimes you have to position these hoses and wires. This hose here, you, we kind of have to loop it around because this likes to crimp, but we're able to work around that, just get them all in the right spots and then we'll start to be able to bolt everything together. So we can go ahead and put these nuts back on here. And these nut drivers are pretty nice to be able to put these on. It sure makes it go faster. All right, let's go ahead and put on the primer bulb. Just put in these two screws here. Now we can go ahead and put on this cover here. 
and put these screws in. Now we can go ahead and put the exhaust muffler on. So now we'll go ahead and tighten up in these exhaust bolts. Now we can go ahead and put the spark plug in and then we'll add fuel and see if she starts. So we can go ahead and put some, it's a oil gas mixture. This is chainsaw fuel. If we pour that in there, see if it starts. So now we'll go ahead and pump the primer, get fuel in there. So now we can go ahead and try to start it up. All right, let's go ahead and pull the choke out and see if that helps. So it started, but we need to take a look at some of the uh, carburetor adjustments.